Hey, and welcome to Sanford Flip Math. This is AP Calculus. We are uh, just getting toward the end of the Applications of Derivatives chapter in the Devan, in, excuse me, the Finney, Devana, Waits, Kennedy Calculus book, uh, and we are working with related rates. This is the second video for related rates, and we're going to focus on really just one example today, and it's kind of a uh, again a classic example. And I uh, just want to recap. I know this uh, this screen looks pretty familiar. Uh, Remember that related rates is about some kind of a situation where more than one quantity is changing over time. As time changes, uh, there's more than one thing changing. Okay, And so the basic plan is to write an equation including all of those quantities, take the derivative with respect to time, and that's the weird thing because time typically isn't even a variable in the equation, and then we just substitute uh, whatever we're told and solve for whatever we want to find. Okay, so with that in mind, let us proceed on to our new example. So uh, this is about a cone. We have a coffee filter that's draining at a constant rate of 25 cubic centimeters per minute. The entire cone has a height of, well, you can read. And so the height and the diameter are the same. And then uh, the filter starts full. How fast is the water level changing? And we're given that as specific time. Just a reminder that um, they're talking about the liquid level being three centimeters. Remember, this is this is a height measurement, and height is changing. So don't substitute this now. Don't substitute three now. You have to do that after you take the derivative. Okay. So so we haven't taken a derivative, so don't do it now. Okay. All right. So basically, I I need to somehow make a list of, of the kind of information I have here. So I, I want to make sure that I know what's going on. Okay. So first of all, I, I have the formula for the volume of a cone, the correct formula for the volume of a cone. Uh, it looks just like the equation or the uh, formula for the volume of a cylinder, only there's this lovely one-third in it, kind of like uh, the equation of, of uh, area of a triangle versus area of a rectangle or something like that. Kind of like that one-half base times height. All right. So that's important. I also need to note that uh, it's draining at a constant rate. So what that means is I have stuff coming out of the bottom of this thing at a rate of 25 cubic centimeters per minute. Well, that sounds like a volume number to me. And so that's going to be dV over dt. Okay, and then the other thing I need you to note is since the volume is getting smaller, this rate is really negative. Okay. Now, I'm not really happy about the way that looks, so I'm going to rewrite that, um, but that's the idea. So dv dt is really negative 25 cubic centimeters per minute. Okay, okay so that's going to be important. And uh, note that the height and diameter uh, of the entire cone is 8. Now, that does not mean the height... And, and diameter of the water at any given time is 8. Like, for instance, when the water's, you know, or coffee or whatever we're going to call this, is down here, well, that's not the entire thing anymore. Okay, so diameter of the entire cone is 8, which means the radius is obviously 4, and the height of the entire thing is 8. Okay, all right, so what we want to do is we want to write, we have an equation to work with already. They gave us that infamous they, and then we're going to do a derivative. Well, the problem here that I have is that I have r squared and I have h, and uh, so that's too many variables for me. It's really asking me about how fast is the water level. That sounds like height, so we want dh dt. That's, that's what we want to know. Okay. So really, I don't need an r in here, but it's worth noting that r is in fact changing as the height is changing. You know, when the height of the the when the liquid level is all the way at the top, the the diameter is eight, the radius is four. But when it's you know halfway down, it's not. Okay, so that that's changing. So I need to represent this in the equation somehow, but I need it to not be with the letter r. So what I want to note is uh, note here, and you can write this r over h or h over r. Pick your favorite. But the height to radius ratio, well, I know the height of the whole thing is 8, and the radius of the whole thing is 4. So this height over radius is equal to 2. Okay. Uh, so 
the thing, I, the reason I can get away with this is I know that, that the side of a cone, you know, the edge of this cone, whatever, alongside it is, is a line. So the height and the radius will always be proportional. Okay, so they'll, they will follow the same, same ratio. Okay. Okay, so having said all that, I want H to stay in the formula because the question's about dH dt. So I'm going to solve this for R, uh, this thing. So H equals 2R, R equals H over 2. So here we go. I'm going to rewrite this volume formula. Volume equals 1 third pi H over 2 squared times H. So volume equals 1 third pi H squared over 4 times H. Okay, so again, volume equals 1 twelfth pi, well, I'm going to say pi over 12. So I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, so pi over 12 H cubed. Okay, so that's volume. Okay, so now I have an, a, a nice equation to work with. Pi over 12 H cubed. Okay. It's all about H. It's all about volume. I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time because all of this is changing. And so when I do 3 times this, I'll go ahead and write it. Normally I would be a little more clever and just skip to the next step, but I know somebody will ask. Uh, so this is now pi over 4. Oops, I missed something. Guess what I missed? Find it. Remember, I'm doing the derivative with respect to t, not with respect to h. So I need to do a little chain rule action there. Okay? All right. Keep so with this in mind, I'm trying to find dh dt. I'm told this. Okay? So let, let's scroll back up. dv dt was negative 25 cubic centimeters per minute. Okay? So I'm going to say negative 25 equals pi over 4. Um, trying to find dh dt. Now, it asked me specifically when the water level is 3 centimeters. Okay, so I'm just going to put 3 in here. Okay, and then really what I need to do then is just solve for dh dt. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, well, uh, let me just show a couple more steps here. So negative 25 equals, this is going to be 9 pi over 4 dh dt. I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that, the multiplicative inverse. I just like saying multiplicative inverse. Okay, so all of that goes away. So dh dt equals negative 100 over 9 pi, which we're going to approximate. Okay, so that is actually negative 34.90658. Negative 34, that's not a 4. Negative 34.90658. 907, and this is then centimeters per, I believe it was minutes, so I will double check. Okay, uh, yeah, it was cubic centimeters per minute initially, so the change in height will be centimeters per minute. Okay, all right, so just a, a quick little recap here. I made some decisions in the middle of this. Okay, so I, I need an equation that puts together all the quantities that are changing. That equation was, in fact, just, just really the volume formula. Okay? Now, I didn't want both R and H in there, but I noticed that it, we were talking about uh, water level, that's height, liquid level, uh, that's height. So I want to keep height in there. So what I wanted to do was actually replace R. So I had R equals, and then I could make a replacement. Okay? So then after I did that, then this was really the volume equation that I worked with. Okay. Now, once I have that, then I can do derivative. Okay. So, so I, start, I got this, then I could do derivative. 
with respect to t, okay, and then plug in what I know, substitute what I know, and so, so, and so I, I knew this, I knew a value for h, and then what I wanted to know was dh dt, and I solved for that. Okay? And so that is it. That is the whole process. Okay, and then that's the pro it's kind of repetitive, redundant, but the the middle of it is is the hard part, right? You have to decide how to put it all together. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it at that for this video and thank you for hanging with me.